Texturing a surface based on the location of another object in the scene can be a really handy way of, of texturing. Here in this scene I've got this statue and I've got a null object that's sitting right here and I want to I want to base a surface off of where this null object is in relation to the surface. Now doing that in the texture editor has been a very common thing and it's a little different setting it up in the node editor. Let's first start by looking at setting it up in the the texture editor. So I'm going to go over to surface editor and T for texture editor and we're going to set this up. What I'm also going to do is go ahead and head over to the render tab and I'm going to click Viper. This is going to allow us to see our updates in real time so that we don't have to keep doing a test render in order to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to start by coming over to my texture editor and under layer type I'm going to change that to gradient. I'm going to change the input parameter from previous layer. I'm going to change that to distance to object. Now I'm not done yet. I've got to pick the object and set up my gradient. For my object I'm going to pick the distance null that I created that I was showing earlier and now I just have to set up a texture so from 0 to 10 meters that's about a 1 meter statue so I'm going to change my end point on my gradient to 1 meter and I'm going to just set up another color and I'm going to drag down another key. So we can see, let me just kind of refine that a little bit, we can see we've got a white spot uh, where it's closer because zero distance away is going to be white and then as we get closer to one meter we're going to fade into blue. I'm going to go ahead and close this, so use texture, close this, so that we can see, I'm going to take and move this null object and we can see there's our, our white spot and if I go back to my surface editor and back to my texture editor I can refine that right there. Okay, So how do we set this up in the node editor? Well let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off even though when we go and turn edit nodes on by clicking here it will anything that we plug into the color channel channel will be overwritten just so that we start from a base uh, a base setup here I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that off in there. Turn on edit nodes, open up the node editor, and just to buy us a little more space I'm going to go ahead and close that surface editor because we don't need it open. And let's take a look. So I guess what we should do is start with the gradient because that's what we did in the texture editor. So I'll come over here to gradient and I'll go ahead and plug that into the color channel. And it goes all black because I don't have any colors set up on my, my gradient here. Okay, so let's start with white. Okay, and there's our one. We don't have to change our end because by default it's um, set up to one meter. And I'm going to create a couple other keys and do the blue like we did before. Okay, and for our input parameter, by default it's set to X coordinate. In the texture editor, it's set to previous layer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change it but if I look here we've got X, Y, Z, slope and incidence. We don't have a distance to object. And when I first got into the node editor I, I thought well, well wow it's more limited. Well actually it's not. If I close this I can see that I have an input channel here which means I can kind of plug anything into this which gives me even more options than I had in the texture editor. So let's see what we need to do to, to set this up. First I need to figure out where this object is in space. So I'm going to go over to add node, go over to spot, spot info, and I've got object spot. So that will tell me where this object is located. I'm going to go ahead and add an item info. Okay, And if I double click it will allow me to choose that null. So now I'm saying I know where the null is, I know where my, my object is which has the surface, and I just need to figure out the distance between the two. So I'm going to go over to math, vector, and I'm going to find distance. Okay, It doesn't really matter which one of these I, I plug into from each node. I'm just going to go ahead and go position of my null object, position of my surface object, and then I'll plug this into my input parameter. And as you can see right here, I've got the same result. Wherever the null is going to be placed, Let's look at our gradient again. 
wherever our null is placed z at zero distance it's going to be white and then it's going to fade to blue so we have the identical setup here uh, that we had in the texture editor and while we're here let's go ahead and set up uh, let's do a little more work so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and let's move this null object say right here and we can see the white spot there. Let's clone it. So I'm going to go over to the items tab, clone. How many clones do I want? Well, right now I'm just going to use one. So I hit OK. And let's move this null, say, right down here by the feet. Now, if I refresh it, I see that it's, I'm get, it's getting me, giving me the same result because I haven't told it anything about this null. Let's go back to the surface editor, back to our surface, and open up the node editor. I'll go ahead and close that surface editor for now. And we can see our white spot. I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to just move these out of the way. And let's go ahead and close those up because we already know we've got that set up right. And I'm going to copy the entire flow that I just selected. Copy. And I'm going to paste. And for this item info, I'm going to change it to the new null, the clone null. And let's plug that in. And we can see we've got a white spot there. So if I plug this flow in, the white spot's right up here. And if I plug this flow in, the white spot's down there. Now I want both of those to show up. So I need to, to blend both of these together and feed that into the input. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and move over to add null, add node, sorry. I'm going to go over to math, scalar, multiply and I'm going to plug the result from each of these flows right here into this multiply and the result into my input and if I tighten my gradient up like so and I'm just going to move that a little closer we can see let's go ahead and close this down we can see that both of these distance to object nulls are going to be working on the same surface. Now the closer I bring those together, the more they're going to bleed together. Okay. And I can I can set this up if I go back to the surface editor and back to my node editor. I can keep blending as many of these as I want. So I can have as many uh, reference nulls that I'm using for the distance to object. I can have as many as I want for the surface. Okay, so if we want to just compare it to uh, the texture editor, all we really need is one of these. So I can kick this off to the side, plug this into the input, and change my gradient just so I have a little more of a view here. And this would be the equivalent of what we did earlier in the texture editor but I can add as many as I want as I've just shown. So hopefully this will give you an idea of how to set up a distance to object in the node editor and uh, I'm also hoping that this will uh, drive a lot of you to exploring more in the node editor. Don't forget to take some time to experiment and have fun.